Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to calculate this integral. If given integral is any one of these three forms, the procedure is same. What is that procedure? Initially, we will write px plus q as a into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c. This is the denominator part you observe here. a into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c plus b and we proceed. First, you try to identify this integral is of which form. You observe in the numerator. Numerator is in the form of px plus q. px 1 into x plus 2. It is in the form of px plus q divided by Denominator is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. This integral is of this form. So how we start the solution if the given problem is any one of these three forms. First we write px plus q as a into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c plus b. In this problem we write x plus 2 as x plus 2 equal to a into d by dx of this expression. What is that? 2x square plus 6x plus 5 plus b. Okay. Now, I'll differentiate this expression. What you will get? That equal to a into derivative of 2x square. 2 is constant. Derivative of x square is 2x. 2 into 2x is 4x plus Derivative of 6x. Derivative of 6x is 6 plus derivative of 5 is 0. So derivative of 2x square plus 6x plus 5 is 4x plus 6 plus b. Here we got that x plus 2 equal to a into 4x plus 6 plus b. Now our first target is I want to find the values of a and b. I'll name this equation as equation 1. Now I want to find the values of a and b. To find the values of a and b, here I will multiply this whole expression with a. Multiply this whole expression with a, what you will get? 4a x plus, multiply what you will get here? 6a plus b. You can observe here this part is constant part, 6a plus b and this is x coefficient. Here x plus 2 can be written as 1 into x plus 2. Now, I will compare the coefficients. Here, what is x coefficient? x coefficient is 4a. Here, what is x coefficient? x coefficient is 1. So, we can equate them. What you got here? 1 equal to 4a. Comparing the coefficients. Here, x coefficient is 1. Here, x coefficient is 4a. Now, comparing the constants. Here, constant is what? Constant is 2. Here constant is what? Constant is 6a plus b. Okay. From this, what is the value of a? The value of a is 1 divided by 4. Clear? a is 1 by 4. Now, this a value, I will substitute in this equation to get b value. Substitute 2 equal to 6 into what is a value? a value 1 by 4 plus b. Okay. Now, 2 table in this uh, 3 times, 2 table here 2 times, okay. So what is b? b equal to, this is 2 minus 3 by 2, 2 minus 3 by 2, that equal to, see LCM is 2 here, 4 minus 3, 1 by 2. So finally, we got the values of a and b. A value is 1 by 4, B value is 1 by 2. Now, in this equation 1, in place of A, I'll write 1 by 4 and in place of B, I'll write 1 by 2. X plus 2 equal to, in place of A, you write 1 by 4. 1 by 4 into 4X plus 6 plus, in place of B, what is the B value we got? B value we got 1 by 2. So, finally, we came to know that X plus 2 can be written like this. If you simplify this part, you will get x plus 2 only. In case if you didn't get x plus 2, that means this a value, b values you got wrong. Now what I'll do in this question, in place of x plus 2, I'll write this expression. So this is continuation of the question, that equal to integral of, in place of x plus 2, I'll write this expression, 1 by 4 into 
फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस वन बै टू होल डिवैडेड बै टू एक्स स्क्वे प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइव डी एक्स वि नो दट इफ एनी एक्सप्रेशन इज आफ दि फॉर्म ए प्लस बी डिवैडेड बै सी इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए बै सी प्लस बी बै सी हियर ई कन्सिडर दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज ए प्लस बी होल डिवैडेड बै सी सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए बै सी प्लस बी बै सी लाइक दिस इंटीग्रेल ऑफ वन बै फोर इंटू फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स डिवैडेड बै टू एक्स स्क्वे प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस बी बै सी दट मीन वन बै टू होल डिवैडेड बै टू एक्स स्क्वे प्लस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फाइव डी एक्स राइट Now what I'll do, I'll integrate each and every term. Integral of this term plus integral of this term. Now integral of first term that equal to when you integrate this first term, you can observe here in the numerator one by four is constant. So we can write it outside the integral like this: one by four into integral of four x plus six divided by two x square plus six x plus five. dx. What I am doing here, I am integrating each and every term while integrating this in the numerator. One by four is constant. That one by four we can write outside the integral. Plus integral of the second term. Plus you observe here integral of second term in the numerator. One by two is there. This one by two is constant. We can write it outside the integral like this. One by two into integral of one divided by two x square plus six x. Plus five dx. Okay, now integral of this part. You see that equal to one by four into. You observe here in this problem, in this type of problem, every time when it comes to this step, you can observe that numerator is the derivative of denominator. You observe what is the derivative of this? Derivative of this is four x. Derivative of this is what six. Derivative of five is zero. Numerator is the derivative of denominator. We learn this formula in integration by substitution. Integral of f dash of x divided by f of x dx. What is the formula for this? The formula is log mod f of x plus c. If numerator is the derivative of denominator, then we write its answer directly. So what we will write here? We will write here it as log mod 2x square plus 6x plus 5. I hope you are understanding. Plus 1 by 2 into. See this type of problems I did around 20 problems. You can check those videos from class 70 to class 90. Uh, it is important you must know all those problems otherwise it takes so much time to explain these things here however i'll explain little faster you try to understand if given integral is of the form 1 divided by ax square plus bx plus c dx to integrate that first we will consider the expression ax square plus bx plus c here what is that expression ax square plus bx plus c that is a 2x square plus 6x plus 5 Once you consider this expression, then we will make sure that x square coefficient is one or not. If x square coefficient is not one, we will make x square coefficient one by taking that number common. Here x square coefficient is not one, x square coefficient is two. So we should make x square coefficient one by taking that number common. So you take two common here, then what you will get x square plus three x plus five by two. Okay. Now my main intention is I want to write this expression in any one of those three forms a square plus x square, a square minus x square, x square minus a square. Okay. So for that we are following a standard procedure that we discussed in so many previous problems. However, I'll explain here. Here few things are always fixed uh, to write this expression into any one of these forms. What are those few things? First, x is fixed. Close the brackets. Square is fixed here. Minus is fixed. After x square, what sign is there? Same sign you write here. After x square plus sign is there. You write plus. Now you need to find out what number to write here. To find out a number, we have a trick. What is the trick? You always consider 2x in your mind. 2x into some number. 2x into what number will gives you 3x? You need to identify. 2x into what number will gives you 3x? Find out that number. 
that number is 3 by 2 if 2 2 will get cancelled you will get 3x only so here that number is 3 by 2 minus square of this number square of this number is what 9 by 4 if we simplify this expression x plus 3 by 2 whole square minus 9 by 4 you will get x square plus 3x if you want you can check that so what is remaining here plus 5 by 2 is remaining so that plus 5 by 2 i'll write here okay so that equal to 2 into x plus 3 by 2 whole square uh, here minus 9 by 4 plus 5 by 2 minus 9 by 4 plus 5 by 2 what is lcm lcm is 4 what you will get in the numerator minus 9 2 in this 2 times so 2 5s are 10 so what is this this is plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 1 by 4 can be written as 1 by 2 whole square so what we came to know here this 2x square plus 6x plus 5 we can write it as 2 into x plus 3 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 whole square you do this in the margin but here i don't want to disturb this problem i'll continue the further right so but this work must be there in the margin integral of 1 divided by in place of 2x square plus 6x plus 5 what you can write you can write it as 2 into ah uh, yes what you got here 2 into x plus 3 by 2 whole square plus uh, 1 by 2 whole square dx so what we got here this equal to 1 by 4 into log mod 2x square plus 6x plus 5 plus 1 here you observe here 2 is a constant we can write it outside the integral as already 2 is there here what it will become it will become 1 by 4 into integral of 1 divided by x plus 3 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 whole square dx so that equal to 1 by 4 into log mod 2x square plus 6x plus 5 plus 1 by 4 into so we need to integrate here if you observe this integral this integral is this formula form 1 divided by x square plus a square dx what is the formula for this we learned in previous classes this formula is 1 by a into tan inverse of x divided by a plus c right you observe here this integral is of this form but actually we need to integrate this by substitution method if i do integration by substitution method here it creates unnecessary confusion so directly you observe this integral and this formula here x plus 3 by 2 whole square is there here x square is there it means in place of x x plus 3 by 2 is there here a square is there here 1 by 2 whole square is there that means in place of a 1 by 2 is there you just apply this formula wherever x is there there you write x plus 3 by 2 wherever a is there there you write 1 by 2 okay just start writing this what is the formula 1 by a 1 divided by a wherever a is there there you write 1 by 2 into tan inverse of wherever x is there there you write x plus 3 by 2 x plus 3 by 2 whole divided by a in place of a you write 1 by 2 plus c okay if we simplify this further here this two times will get cancelled and what you will get this equal to 1 by 4 into log mod 2x square plus 6x plus 5 plus 1 by 2 into tan inverse of see here lcm is 2 in the numerator what you will get in the numerator 2x plus 3 divided by 2 whole divided by 1 by 2 this 2 in the numerator denominator part 2 will get cancelled so what what you will get tan inverse of 2x plus 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 by 2 the 2 2 will get cancelled 2x plus 3 divided by 1 plus c these problems are little lengthy problems but you understand what procedure we are following these things are easy only just practice four to five problems continuously then you will feel that these problems are very easy